712 now. We want to dig deeper into that latest round of stimulus relief funding. Yesterday, the House of Representatives voted to pass another round of funding for small businesses, $484 million to be doled out soon. Here to talk more about when we could see some of that money, Democratic Congressman Kurt Schrader. He represents Oregon's 5th District. That's parts of Salem, some Portland suburbs, parts of the coast. Uh, Representative, good morning. Uh, good morning. How are you guys? Good, good. How about yourself? Well, pretty good. Pretty good. You know, Washington, D.C., we're pretty careful about how we're doing things, it seems, these days. But uh, even with this virus, hopefully we're getting the people's work done and more bipartisan than we've been in a long time. Oh, absolutely. I know it's been a, a change in workflow for just about everyone right now, including lawmakers. But so this morning, we want to look at this latest round of stimulus funding. How quickly are businesses going to see uh, some of this money in their accounts? Well, hopefully pretty quickly. Uh, most people have queued up. Uh, SBA seems to have worked through some of its glitches in the application process. Uh, people, it's a mixed bag. Some people are hearing back about where they are in the queue and how they stand. Others, not so much yet. Uh, my advice to everybody is make sure that if you apply before April 2nd, you reapply for that uh, disaster loan portion of the program. Uh, but the PPP seems to be good. Uh, obviously, they're both very wildly popular. They've been oversubscribed from our initial estimates. Uh, I think there's valid concern that we are maybe going to have to do another round. We'll see. Uh, but we're putting almost double the amount of money into the Paycheck Protection Program that was originally envisioned. And we're putting six times the amount of money into the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program, now up to $60 billion. So hopefully uh, that will uh, start going into effect right away. I would look and I always call, I'm calling a lot of businesses and friends and folks that uh, I have in Oregon in my district to see how this money flows. I'd probably give it another a uh, week or so to work through the system, but uh, I hope by mid next week uh, money should be flowing again uh, and I'll hopefully be getting some good reports. Also just point out we put aside uh, another $75 billion for our hospitals and health providers and $25 million more uh, for testing PPE gear and that sort of thing. So it's uh, hopefully a real targeted package to, to the areas we really need it most. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there are several pots here uh, that are going to see some funding. But of course, when we when we look at our small businesses and, and the funding that they are desperately hoping for right now, uh, we saw some issues with the first rollout of stimulus money, some some larger companies uh, getting some of that relief. And we saw a yeah. lot of small mom and pops completely missing out on any kind of loans. What kind of changes or oversight are happening to make sure that uh, this time more of this money is getting into the hands of the people who truly need it to save their business? Right, right. And uh, to that end, uh, you know, we all we established a coronavirus uh, oversight commission uh, to make sure the money is being used the way the taxpayer would expect it to be used and no one's gaming the system. And if they are, we'll catch them and make them pay the penalty. Uh, and we actually do some carve outs now for uh, small community banks, uh, credit unions, uh, community financial institutions uh, that are embedded in these towns that know these local folks, know the true small businesses and can get to them. So banks uh, between 10 and 50 billion are getting, uh, I think, $60 billion. And then uh, folks under $10 billion are getting another separate allocation. So we're making sure that those smaller community-based organization, financial institutions actually are getting the money, can really help the you know two to four to 10 person shop that constitute most of the small businesses in Oregon. Mm -hmm. and real quickly here, I'm almost out of time, but I did want to ask you, because you mentioned uh, the possibility of, of more payments down the road. What are you and other lawmakers considering when you look at uh, the possibility of, of more business loans, of another stimulus check for Americans? What's on the table? Well, a lot of things are on the table. What we do, that's another issue. And a lot's to be made about, and I see folks commenting online about, oh, the partisanship or Republicans doing this, Democrats doing that. I'll tell you, this is not a pretty system in the United States of America, but with that dynamic tension between Republicans and Democrats and different philosophies, different geographies, I'd say these packages are coming out pretty, pretty good. And I'm looking forward to that again coming up. I think the, the focus should be on the small businesses and those hourly employees uh, that work for them. Let's make sure they're taken care of first. All right, Congressman Kurt Schrader, we appreciate your time this morning. Hope you and your family are staying healthy. Thank you very much. Thank